Praises and great glory to the mighty Most High Lord. Sure, I made this video to remind you guys of why we family. I wanted to remind you who the Most High allowed to bring us all together. And I wanted you to remind you of his heart. But I also wanted to remind you of his kindness, forgiveness, and loving. And I believe he is an example for everybody. So please, when you watch this, take this in. I look at Brother Deshaun like a brother, a blood brother. When he write in the comments and he write me, I, I feel like my actual brother is writing me. And this is no bullshit ass lie. Uh, for some reason, it feel like we are blood related. And I believe the spirits are connected some type of way. Um, my mother and everybody asked about Deshaun just like he's a family member. It's a weird damn thing. And so, um, or it's, it's a beautiful thing. Uh... Also, I know my brother be struggling out there, man. I know he got things that he has to deal with himself, and he's not a perfect individual, but I believe that his heart and his spirit and everything is in the right place, and he, he pulls through, man, all the time, and, I, you know, I have much respect and regard for my brother right here. This is Rapper News. Praise God and thank all who support our channel. So bless you, Eddie Oliver, Angela Huggins, Marcus Wilson, Sherry Gaines, Donald Jones, Angela Simmons, Aaron Bloomer, and Denise, wherever you went, uh, Nigel Bernardo, Brother Kerry, uh, Miss Beloved, Guy Monroe, James Lynn, Seven, Dock of the Bay, and the list just keep growing, man. So I can't even mention everybody, but you know that we conversate here and there. Bless all of you for supporting in so many ways. This is not an easy position to be in. And it, it's a very dangerous position in the times that we're in. Because you can say something and then have a bunch of people at your door. You know what I mean? And, you know, with your help, you guys have made this, you know, an awesome uh, thing. So bless each and every one of y'all and everyone who subscribed and watch the videos every day. Um, you guys are truly blessed more than you know. So basically, I'm going to say this. Do you know that if someone is preaching and you earnestly listening, you actually get a blessing along with them. You know, so however many blessings that this person get, and God is the one who's multiplying it all. And God is the God of increase. You also are receiving as well. Whatever you give, God uh, give back to you seven or tenfold. God is a God of increase, and that's what I want you to know. And giving, even if you're giving an ear or giving some time or charity or whatever you give, is increase. And to help me reach people with this message, and whether you believe the message or not, it doesn't matter. At least I reach my hand out for you, brother and sister. But I wanted it for you. And I've shown you nothing but love. And I have. People can hate me all damn day long. We can go back and forth. You know, when I'm going back and forth, I don't hate you. I love you. And the, and the greatest joy would be getting into kingdom. All of us. Getting into the kingdom of God and seeing all of you there. And I want y'all to see something, man. Denise Dixon. Uh, God is wiping away a multitude of your sins and this is how it works when, when you it's like uh, the harlot Rahab the harlot and I'm not calling you that I'm just saying I'm just comparing the story to you you know and I'm just saying she was the worst of the worst person she was a whore in the Bible and she helped the messengers of God and guess what when God destroyed the whole city he saved her and her family right 
and it doesn't matter if Denise Dixon is a sinner you know just please try and stop to you know sinning but you have helped and you have saved my ass multiple times and I'm telling the whole YouTube I'm not hiding you from them you have saved my ass multiple times you know and God bless you God bless you for that and 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 uh, Marcus Wilson you know I just saw you you new to the channel that I know and if you if you're not new to the channel I haven't seen uh, too many comments from you but recently I've been seeing a lot from you and same as you you have saved my ass and I ain't, I'm not even lying to you and may God save your ass and I'm just talking straight to you brother to brother may God save your ass from hell you Denise and a multitude of people that help and support this channel and so let's get some more support all of these people is I think she call herself Yashua Beloved Amy Chan, Guy Monroe, Ricky Cow, Rhea Timmermans, uh, Bryson Cozy, uh, Crystal Torres. You know, this is family to me. You guys are family to me. And, and, and the list goes on. If you're not on here, it's you too. Lorna Williams, Eddie Oliver. I told you, Lorna Williams, please don't worry about nothing. You are good. Just stay here every single day and hear this truth. And I know you will make it, you know. Chris Curry, you know, this is a good brother, good brother, Tanner Gill, good brother, James Brown, good brother, Christopher Perdue, good brother, Nikki Guy, good, brother uh, Curtis is Doc of the Bay, Doc of the Bay said it was hard to convince him of anything, I listen to everything you guys say, people say, don't listen to rap, just because I don't respond to it, don't mean I didn't listen to it, I listen to what you say. He said it was hard to convince him. And you know what? He God convinced him. And now he 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 in the truth. And he he gonna make it. You know, God willing. All of you gonna make it. Eddie Oliver, you a good brother, man. And you know, all of you guys is good people. And there's more. Uh Omar Chima, you a good brother, man. You know, uh James Lynn, good brother. And it's a whole lot of good brothers out there, man. And a whole lot of good people. You know, and this is the love. I love you all. Shalom. Thank you for your good comments that you leave. I think the longtime listeners and the, sh and the newbies that just got here, I thank God for all of you that change, that, that believe the scriptures, you know, believe in what the scriptures is actually really telling you. You know, the message is actually really being preached to you, the truth. I thank you and thank God for you for actually believing you know it's like a dream come true to, to be able to reach people with this message I had this message inside me for so long you know what I mean and I've been dying to get it out and, and you just get shut down every time you open your mouth up and try to preach this message to people to save their souls from hell uh, if, like I said before if you want to get Raptor News 100% and understand me all you all you have to do is figure out that all I want for you is salvation all I want for you is salvation. That's all it's about, that you don't go to hell. Because hell is a horrible place and nobody can do that. You know what I mean? It's too hot, it ain't no food. You burning, it's, 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 it's gruesome. You do not want that, you know? And I don't want that for any of you guys, man. And I love and care about you, and this is the love. I love you so much that I want to save you. Kind people that we have on this channel. I would like for us all to come together and pray for Brother James Sinky. He is going through chemotherapy. I don't know if he has cancer or not. I believe so. And basically, I would love for everyone to pray for him that he safely comes through this. And uh, all praise and glory. To the most high. Oh, great, brother. Let me, I got, I got something I want to say. You go right ahead. I got these sunglasses on hiding these tears from y'all. <laughs> I, I got to be a little hey, lie, boy. Don't but, but look here, I want to, I want to say this. Uh, first of all, I want to thank, uh, Brother Shard for coming down and filling my house up and, uh, and being a brother that he is.
I'm about to fucking start crying. That's all right. We'll let it. We're gonna get our share of it. <laughs> we, we might even start a flood right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, man, I love the the Hebrew Israelite family because they my family. That's right. This is my brother right here. That's right. And if if it wasn't for Brother Rap the News, Brother Rap, we wouldn't be standing here, brother. That's right. So looky here, man. The work you're doing is paying off. You're looking at it right here. Royally. Your work is paying Royally. off, brother. Thank you, brother. Rabbi. So please don't stop doing what you're doing. That's right. And uh, it's only because of the most high in you, brother, that me and brother Sean's here. So I want to thank all of Israel for allowing this stranger to hang on to your coattail, brother. Oh, my God. All praise and glory to the most high. And I want to thank all the other brethren out there. And y'all know who you are. And I'd love to start calling your name. But sure as I do, I'm going to forget somebody. <laughs> so let's remain humble. That's right. Love one another. And let's, please, let's stop sinning. That's right. Turn back to the most high. Only and no one else. And again, let's give all praise and glory. All praise and glory. To the most high most God high. of Israel. Most high God of Israel. Much love, everyone. Much love. We get to James Sinky, the Hillbilly Hebrew. Deshaun. The brother Deshaun. <laughs> and and what about loving somebody now? If you ain't Oh, oh, oh yeah, he yeah, he, he reminded me a couple times of this. Israel and the stranger. If nobody told you that they love you today, we like to say we love each and every one of you, sisters and brothers. Thank you all for the support and love. And uh, we're looking at two screens here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the support, you know, this is important in this late hour for us to love and cherish one another, you know, because we've been through so much. We've been through so much, you know, and we're about to go into some real trying times. And again, Brother Rap and everyone else, you know, oh, and Brother I Am Judah Yasharel. Yes, sir. You know, I mean, there's so many names, it'll be dark by the time we get there. <laughs> you know, be blessed. Love and cherish each other because we are all we got. Much love. Much love. Much love. I'm going to shoot a little bit more video, brother. You should tell people how much you love and care about them and what you're doing for them before they die to me. That's just another thing, so it's kind of like a catch. You're going to get along with your parents all the time. You ain't going to get along with your siblings and your brothers and sisters all the time. You ain't going to get along with your boss all the time, you know, and, and your friends. You ain't going to get along with them all the time. We have to just understand that. We have different minds, you know, different moods, different ideas, and basically sometimes we just clash as a people. We need to have an understanding, you know, that when we do clash and it's something big that can cause a rift between us, we need to take that to the book, you know. And the book says, you know, if you got a problem with your brother, go to your brother and resolve it with your brother. Don't even bring your gift to the altar. Don't do nothing. You know, pull your brother to the side personally and say, hey, brother, you know, what's the problem? Pull your sister to the side and say, hey, sis, what's the problem? You know, um, Israel has a bad habit of turning their back on each other, man. As soon as we don't like something about it, we say we ain't dealing with them niggas no more. And that ain't how God want it. What's going to happen when we in the kingdom? And it's something that you don't like. You know, you're going to turn your back and say, we ain't dealing with you. And then you're going to be uh, the only one on the outside of the fence of the kingdom. That's how, that's how you think it's going to be. You think the most high going to be dealing with you? Now you're going to toss your ass into darkness. Watch. So we have to learn how to appreciate each other. We all different. We all have different ideas. We have all different ways of looking at the scriptures and things. And, and I just appreciate you. You should appreciate me. You know, and um, I do. I appreciate everybody. Uh, we are all friends. The believers are. Believers are all friends, whether you notice or you don't notice. You know, worldwide, we all friends, whether we know each other, or we don't know each other. And we need to start acting like friends. Like, um, you know, if you believe I'm wrong some type of way. Be a brother and a sister to me and say, hey, look, brother, because I'll do it to you in a heartbeat. This is wrong. You know, uh, this is what the most high want us to do. 
you see me doing those videos rap the news against this person rap the news against that person I'm not against them or is this versus that person I'm not against them whatsoever I'm saying look this is the way that the Most High want us to do it if God said if, 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 if they believe you have gained your brother you save your brother from the fire you know now you have a brother because they believe you know it's a whole lot of people who came from believing on Jesus and stuff like that to just worshiping the Most High but we got a long distance it's a whole lot more to learn you know and we have to have the temperance to to deal with each other instead of letting every little funky thing that said bother us the book is there so we can resolve our problems by the book if you are resolving your problems by the street by social distancing and all that bullshit then you're not really us man God tells us what to do and we obey those commandments in the book of the law he's telling us what to do in every situation that we have and we need to follow and obey the law you know and 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 the reason why he's giving us all these laws is so that we can get along with each other and have peace real peace the real peace come when we all obeying the lord then nobody's taking nobody's woman nobody's stealing nobody's man nobody is killing nobody nobody's raping nobody nobody's swindling and, and cheating and undermining nobody you know nobody is using nobody for something I'm not using anybody for shit. I've, I, I've never sat there and directly, I mean, if I did, it's a rare occasion that I say, okay, I need money. That's, that's just a, that's a, that'll be a rare occasion. You know, if you give donations, it ain't like I need or I don't need, you know, uh, it, it should be from your heart, you know, for the love of God, not because, you know, you're just doing things for me. Everything that we do, we do it for the Most High God. We don't do it for people. We, we, we're not here to serve men. We're here to serve the Most High God only. But in doing that, we are serving men the way that the Most High God told us to do it. So, you know, we love each other for the sake of God, man. And we pardon and overlook so that God can pardon and overlook. It is what it is. As a man, so, so shall he reap. What measure you made, it'll be measured back to you. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Take into captivity, go into captivity. However you treat God's people, that's how you're going to be treated. It is a balance system. And that's how God made it so that it'd be 100% just and nobody can say that nothing was unfair on the day of judgment. So let's love each other for God's sake. She's having car trouble and basically she can't get to work, you know, and she's spending hundreds of dollars catching an Uber to try to support her family and she can't really afford to keep doing it. So if any brother or sister or family want to go in and look in on her and make sure she's okay, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box to her page and you can contact her through there or if she can see this video because she don't know that I'm putting the video up, you can contact her right here. Um, you have no idea how grateful I am towards every last one of you. I am totally grateful for every last one of you. The people who believe, like Lucky Ben Israel, you know, I was just talking about him today with my son. You know, these people who believe and they change their life, you know, and they, they come into the truth. They may not know how much or how far I am in the truth and how much I know and how much I just don't say. And I don't say everything. But, you know, just know I know. Just know that I know. You know, and, and that I'm totally grateful, totally grateful for all of you. Every last one. You know, you have been nothing but help whether it's sometimes negative comments you don't understand some things or this positive uh, vibe that we see now we could be out there killing each other we can be out there prostituting we all on here being positive 
We all on here being positive. We all on here changing our lives. We all on here preparing to meet the Most High God and each other one day. It is one of the best feelings in the world, you know, of this happening. I'm, I'm going to say there's so many blessings that God has given us. The, one of the biggest blessings besides God himself was his words. Was his words. I feel so blessed by those words. When I read those words, it changed my life instantly. I said, wow, this book is talking about me. This book knows me. Another blessing from the Most High God is by reading his words, we found out we have Truly a new addition we to the family, y'all. As a P, check him out. That we fit Brother the Lambert. That's Brother Lambert right there. He is going to be our buck. You know, he is going to woo the lady with his pretty blues. And he is going to give us baby after baby after baby. Because that is going to be one of the most beautiful days ever. And we heading towards that, Israel. We almost out of this damn mess. And like I said, Brother Deshaun, Michelle, Rhea, Ronnie, Bridget, you know who you are. Uh, Kai, was it Kaz? I can't think of the name. He right up here, you know. Brian Kosey, right? All of these people, I can just mention everybody's name. It'll take me all damn day because there's a lot of y'all. Applesauce, all of you. James Seeky. Love you guys, man. So where did the rest of y'all go? Like, I mean, I'm seriously concerned, but at the same time, it's sad because right now, expected us to hold it down while he's gone. We all know that it's the times, so the day of resurrection is upon us. And it seems like when he come back, he gonna be upset. Sad. Somebody got a hold down the fort. It just seemed like um, we we should break apart. We should keep this truth coming and keep guiding souls. Now for rapper for the Most High. But if we love and appreciate Him for Him too, He was a righteous man of God. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's like the followers of Jesus, you know. We can be Rap's followers as a messenger and continue his message. And his message and his duty and his job, everything he spoke was from the Most High. I want everybody to remember that. You know, I'm trying to remind you of who you were. And that is who you should continue to be. You know, we should forgive each other. We should overlook each other, you know. We family. We shouldn't keep having problems with each other. We got to take care of our women. We got to make sure they're okay. It's like Mother Rat. She don't have a husband no more. Somebody got to look after her. You know, somebody had to look after their daughters. Somebody got to help look after his son. You know, we got to support them. You know, we got to support the women that's in keeping them housed, take care of them. Don't let them just be out in the street with their kids. You know, Rap cared about everybody, no matter who they were. White, black, blue, green, orange, or purple. It don't matter. If you are serving the most high God, then you are family. You may not be Israelite, but you are family. And that's what Rap taught. Yes, you may be Gentile. Yes, you may have to submit. But if you submit, you can make it. Like Brother James Sinky. Deshaun, where are you, man? You see what Rap thought of you. 
And you're going to just leave? You're going to let them down? He would never let you just cry over some petty shit like this. And neither am I. I'm not going to leave you alone, man. Unless you prove to me that you are not a believer in the Most High, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm not going to deem you an enemy. I'm going to forgive you. And I'm going to pray for you as long as you claim the Most High. But you need to come back. And you need to preach to the people. To the Emmanuel, brother, from the videos that I've seen of you, you can be a preacher, you can be a leader, and I believe the Most High will call you to such. Brother, you can lead the people on the land, and if I was to choose somebody, I would choose you. And I don't care what anybody think about that, it's the spirit that I feel. I don't care what you think about yourself, brother. Brother, you have the ability, I see it. You have the ability of resolve. You have the ability to accept your wrongs and turn to right. Lead the people, brother. Sister, you have to be Sister, speak to the women. You know why I'm saying this? Because when I've seen you speak before, you have an influential voice. That is your gift. Use your gift of the Most High and bring other women and children to the Most High. Don't waste your gift, sister. I want you to make videos. Sister Joy, you have an influence to be a grandmother to these people. To people who don't have a grandmother. You know? To lead and guide people. My grandmother had a big influence on me. As well as my mother. But as well as my father. My father was a high believer in the most high God. But my father taught me some values. My grandmother ain't still the most high God. And my mother made sure I sat down and, and listened to rap. And made sure that I did everything right. She would not let me just be some thug or nigga on the street. Sister, I believe you can be that influence. Be a grandmother to the people. You can do it. Brother Robert. Brother, you have a heart of gold. Your special gift is your heart. You love the people and you provided the most for these funds, for this land. And you said, I don't care if I didn't own the land. I want to do this for my people. That is the kind of heart that we need here. That is what's going to get you into heaven, bro. Keep your heart. Don't turn cold. Keep speaking, bro. <sighs> Mother Rat, you are, you are special. And I love you dearly. And I want you to know that the people love you. And your husband was right. You have the voice. You have the spirit. You have everything. You are half of your husband. You have everything in you to help these people. So I will say stick to your videos and do what you do. You know. Forget what the haters say. I forget what the haters say. You know, do what you got to do for the most high God and help these people because they need help. There's so many of y'all that I love so much. Um, I 
don't know what ever happened to Beverly Baptiste either. I don't know what happened to a lot of y'all. You know? But I would like for everybody, all the family to come back. Lucky Ben Hebrew, uh, uh, brother, uh, the news, well, I, I forget his name, but you know, he knows what I'm talking about. Come back, man. We a family. We need to take care of each other and look out for each other. There's a lot of fake Hebrew Israelites out here. We got to be the example. We got to stick together. We got to help each other. We got to love each other. When nobody else do. Sister Heaven. I swear we think alike. In, to a lot of, of, to a lot of an extent. Um, Sister, I know you're trying to carry on your father's legacy and I want you to keep going. Keep up with that word, sister, because there's a spirit in you, spirit in you. There's a spirit in you and there's a fire in you. Keep it up, sister. Guide these women, guide these children and give us men some advice. That's what the most I would want us to do. And men take aid. You know, it's no problem with listening to a sister who's speaking up for the most high God. She'll be proud of that. If she a feminist, that's completely different. You know, no men, no this, no that, that's different. But somebody is speaking up for the most high God. Speak up, stand up. Brother Israel, Restore for all I watch your videos and I'm inspired by them. Um, I believe you have the ability to actually lead the mass of the people. I don't have that ability, not that I know of. I mean, your father, I believe, left this to you. He left it to you guys, but you, you are the man. And I appreciate you doing what your father wants you to do, which is speak to the people. I know it can be hard because it's hard for me to do these videos every day. It is. But keep on at it. I know you got a family and things to take care of. I can understand that. I do too. But keep on, brother. I know we don't speak much, but much love to you. Brother Rakima, bro, I want to try some of your meals one day. And I bet you rap will too. Keep on keeping on, brother. Keep making your videos, keep speaking. Keep speaking in the name of the Most High. Because that's what's going to save you. One video can change an entire person's life. Keep on. You know, and I see people in the comments always supporting the truth. From Sister Leticia Humphrey to Brian Corey to Pokey Rudder to, you know, we family. All of them. Stick with the most high God. We ain't these gang member camps. We're not. We are actual family. And I had a dream that we all went to Israel together. We'll wrap the English. And we were all able to be together. Israel. I love you guys. I appreciate everything you do. And Shalom. This is Lorraine.